Hey you guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball dime, and today is day 1,084 of my ketogenic journey. Going up on 2,000 days anyway, an almost three year keto anniversary, which will be just in a few, it'll be July 28th. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I ate yesterday. I'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, all the good YouTube jazz, and guys and dolls, let's rant, rave, and misbehave keto dime style. Three, two, one. A 18 hour fast with five black and tenders from Popeyes and some ranch. Breakfast, I decided to have some keto high key cocoa cereal with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I also, throughout the day, one, I don't remember when I had them, but I had two performance cocoa nut butters. Okay, so I ordered some keto crackers from Amazon. They just came in, and I'm going to show them to you. I'm not sure they're going to work out. They are simply meals, almond flour fine ground sea salt crackers and in them I'm gonna attempt to read these ingredients but I've got to be honest I'm not real good at that nut and seed fla uh, flour blend almond sunflower seeds and flax seeds uh, what's this uh, Topeka starch cassava flour mm -mm. sorry my allergies are kicking up organic sunflower oil sea salt Organic onion, organic garlic, rosemary extract for freshness. Now, one thing I am worried about is 17 crackers is a serving size. There's four servings per container. They weren't but $3 a package. So if they work out, awesome. They have 8 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 18 grams of total carbs. Only two of those are from fiber. Now, again, the rest of this stuff is what makes up the rest of the carbs. So we're going to try them out. I really wish Amazon wouldn't put crushable things in envelopes. That's dumb. This was inside the box. So me and Hubby's going to try one. You want to try one? I don't want that one's broken. I want a good one. I want a good one. There we go. That's what it looks like. What do you think about it? That's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no. <laughs> Simple meals. And like I said, they were three dollars and like seventy some cent, I think, on Amazon. Mm. One of my favorite snacks as a kid, and this might sound gross to some, was two crackers with mayonnaise mm -hmm. in between. <coughs> yeah, I ate over there. That wasn't just yours. That was everybody's. Everybody put mayonnaise on crackers. Do they really? Mm-hmm. I also like something that was very non-keto friendly, which neither were the crackers, but... I think it's a southern thing. But. To dip uh, a banana in mayonnaise. It was so good. But... We'll see if these work out. I don't plan to eat, you know, 18 grams worth of the carbs from them. I only plan to eat four or five on a um, salad or something, but... I like them. We'll just have to see, you know, how the weigh-in treats it. Treats it, and I'll show you that in a little bit. So I'm having two beef patties with half a slice of cheese on each and a little bit of that primal steak sauce. Right before I ate this, I actually had a salad, just lettuce, cheese, uh, ranch. And in total, I have had nine of those little cracker things that I just showed you. So that's about half a serving. Did you guys calories and macros for all of that per my fitness pal website, 1,371 calories, 47 grams of total carbs in net. Um, I think it was more closer to 20. 99 grams of fat and only 68 grams of protein even though it felt like I had a lot more. I don't know. You guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about the COVID uh, mask wearing. I am not against mask wearing. I want to make that clear. If it's your choice, that's 100%. I'm all for you. I want people, however, to be very careful with their cloth masks. There's a good reason for it. Now, there was a study done in 2015, so pre-COVID, that showed that cloth face masks led in 97% of airborne particles. 97%. So basically, they're only lowering your risk of getting it or giving it because what comes in will go out. If it can come in, it can go out. 97% can get in and out of the mask. So what I want you to be careful with, though, is the reusing of cloth masks without properly cleaning them. 
skyrockets your risk of infection, okay? So make sure you're cleaning these cloth masks properly. Now the medical masks were so, showed to lock 44% of particles if worn properly, but cannot be reused either unless, if it, if, it, if it is a reusable one, make sure it's cleaned properly. If not, make sure it's trashed and you got another one. You cannot wear these over and over. I'm only bringing this up because I know a lot of you um, still suffer from health conditions, so I want to make sure that you're as safe as possible wearing these masks. Clean your reusable mask in between use. If possible, have three or four of them. I do not right now, so since it's mandated, I have to, um, you know, clean that mask so it's over there sun drying right now in front of my window. Um, but just, just be careful with these. I want y'all to be as safe and healthy as possible. All right, so guys, I got asked about tracking because tracking with these um, apps like MyFitnessPal or Carb Manager for some people is really, really tricky. It's hard. It's it's annoying. It's agitating. They don't want to fool with it. There are many reasons a lot of people might not track. But I want you guys to know that you can track on a piece of notebook paper. You really, really can. Just write down how many calories was in how much you ate. Uh, like, you know, if you had three servings, make sure you look at the, the serving size. You can write down how many carbohydrates was in it, how much fat was in it, how much protein was in it. And I do mine per grams because I find that much, much more simple. But you don't have to use an app. You can just jot it down. And as far as that goes, you can just jot down everything you ate yesterday, leave the calories and macros out of it, and the next day, see what you weigh. And then you'll know whether what worked this day will work tomorrow or next week, whenever you decide to eat it again. So you'll kind of get a gist of what foods work and what don't. But you don't necessarily have to use an app. I do track every day, but mostly because I have this channel and I think it's probably helpful for you guys to see my calories and macros as I go. But I don't do that every day. If I can't measure and weigh something and I'm just guesstimating it, I don't really fool with it because it might be right, but it might not. But anyway, you do not have to necessarily use that. You can just write it on a piece of paper. You can just keep up with your carbs. Some people do that. They just keep up with their carbs. But considering lacking in fat and protein is unhealthy and your hair and nails and your other bodily organs could, um, could be damaged doing that, I think the fat and protein is very good to track. As a general rule, across the board, Almost every, when I do people's macros, almost everybody needs at least 100 grams of fat. Some can tolerate a lot more. The heavier you are, the more fat you can have. The lower you de lower down you go, it, it gets down to about 100 grams, and that's where pretty much is your lowest base um, fat intake, 100 grams of fat per day. About everybody's macros who I do, and I do the addition and everything for myself, I come up with it. Everybody needs between about 90 and 120 grams of protein, depending on how tall you are, even more if you're active. And of course, grams of carbohydrates for me, I know you hear 50, I know you hear 30. For me, what I've learned and what seems to work best is keeping it below 20 total carbs. I don't always do that. You know this. I'm not a perfect person. And if I go to try and like these keto breads or using these keto breads and different things with the net carbs, some of those things work and they work just fine, but some of them do not. So you just kind of have to try it for your body to see which one is going to benefit you the very best. But just write it down if you don't want to do a full with a, a macro thing or whatever. And like I said, 100 to 150 grams of fat for most people, but about 100, depending on how small or big you are. Um, what I see is usually a 90 to 120 grams of protein, and usually 20 grams of carbs work best. So, that's... Oh, and by the way, over on KetoDiamond.com, I have a page with three short clips and videos that will not only tell you how to get your own calories and macros, but I'll tell you how to use my, fat fitness, my fitness pal because that's the one I use. It's just the only one I know about. But if you use another one, that's just fine too. <sighs> Let's talk about my night last night, y'all. So I don't know if one of the foods I consumed had a delayed reaction on me. I don't know if... Um... Hello? Sorry. I don't know if... Um... It was just something in the air, because I did have to help my grandson with this this morning too. But overnight, I started getting a really sore throat, 
pain right here, pain in my ears. My head was really heavy. Kind of felt like somebody punched me right about here. I felt really, really bad. And I was thinking, oh, here comes the Rona. Luckily, it wasn't. I know that because the symptoms pretty much abated with an allergy pill. So, um, but I had to take my grandson and myself this morning to Walmart to get some allergy medicine. Those clarid and chewable tabs, them things is high. That's ridiculous for children, you know, and I got me some little cheap stuff. But it did knock it right out, so. So, as a result, I got about three choppy, terrible hours of sleep. And I was woken up at about a quarter till seven this morning with my husband saying, I left my wallet at home and it's got my log, my clock in card and everything in it to get in the, the work building and all that. And uh, he asked me if I'd bring it to him at his first break, which is around 9 a.m. So I set my alarm for eight, hoping to get at least like an hour and 15 minutes more sleep. 20 minutes later, my grandson's in my room going, Grandma, something stinks, something stinks. This is the oldest grandson, Zach. I was like, what, what, what are you talking about? Then I hear my dog Jake going, rawr, rawr, rawr. that's his get out of bed and let me out of the house. So I get up. I'm kind of, you know, fobbling around the house and falling over because my head's heavy. And uh, <laughs> I found what stank. So apparently Jake had to release some, but not all. And he wanted me to let him out to release the rest. Jake is very housebroken, but apparently I didn't hear him trying to wake me up. And he made a little bit of a mess in the kitchen. And Zach woke up smelling that. I was like, no. So we were up. You know, there's, there's no going back to bed after cleaning that mess and dealing with all that. And then having to take him his wallet and just like... 15 minutes. So I went ahead and got dressed, got Zach dressed, and we headed out and took him his wallet. And then we went to Wally World. <laughs> we got some groceries and some allergy medicine and all that. So, oh, and my blazer overheated. So apparently my air conditioner makes my butt blazer overheat, and I'll have to figure that out later. Yay! A new issue to deal with. Got my back glass up there. So I was happy about that. But that was the other day. But blazer overheated. And luckily I carry water with me because I don't know where the dang old water goes. We can't find the leak. But I knew a while ago it boiled out. So, you know, I had water with me. We were good. Just, I feel much better now. I'm taking like a cheapo allergy medicine, like I said. But goodness, y'all. Goodness. And you know it affected the way in. I don't even know if these allergy pills will affect the way in for the next few days. But honestly, I don't care. My head can't feel like that no more. And the way I slept. I will be fine. I know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, you poor baby. No, don't. It's fine. But I've got a catch in my shoulder blade. I guess where I slept wrong and now like, I turn my head too far, it hurts. Y'all know that'll be around for two or three days. Um, but otherwise, I know it affected my keto. I know it affected my keto because actually it didn't affect my keto. It just didn't allow me to sleep long enough to get all the water weight off from yesterday. So here's the weigh-in. Guys, good morning. Um, Whatever this says is due to lack of sleep and feeling like him. <laughs> Damn, I went up instead of down. All right. 160.4, I'll explain. If I'm not mistaken, that meant I gained a whole pound. It doesn't actually mean I gained a whole pound. It just means I didn't sleep long enough to get all three pounds from yesterday off. So, it's all right. It is what it is, and when you just don't feel good and you can't sleep and you can't rest, what can you do, you know? But sleep is a major factor in keto in any weight loss journey, in any real life journey. It, I know a lot of us are feeling um, on and off at very least depressed, on and off at very least anxious, on and off at very least angry. Um, There's so many emotions going around, and then we're kind of trapped at home for the most part and if you want to go out you can't really have any human contact and can't really be around certain family members and stuff because you want to keep them healthy and and this it's weighing on all of us I know it is and I know my anger from the other day probably allowed my immune system to be lowered enough to really get a hurting on me from some allergens so yeah can I take a nap now I can't take a nap now my daughter has a job interview in a little while, and I have to watch Anthony. <laughs> you know what? It, the only thing is, see, Athena watching her, she's a baby. She's easy. Change her, feed her, maybe bounce her a little bit. Zach's easy. 
he's six years old. Give him a cartoon and some Beyblades and his iPad. He's quiet unless he's hungry or got to go to the bathroom. Anthony, he's at that age that he's not quite terribly too, but he's close. And that means he gets into everything. You have to watch the change. Make sure there's nothing on the floor. You got to make sure he can't get a hold of no wires, no cords, nothing glass, nothing. Yeah, he's, he's at that age. Don't take your eyes off of him because if he gets quiet, something bad's going down. Zach gets quiet. He might have just fell asleep or something. Or, well, okay, that's not true. He's six. When he gets quiet, I still have to check on him. But you know how that works, right? So, watching the other two at this point in their life is not too difficult. Anthony's just at that point where you have to watch him like a hawk. Don't take your eyes off of him. Which means ain't nothing going to get done. And Grandma's probably going to lose a little hair today. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I know I've probably been talking a lot, kind of sporadically in sections. I'm just tired. And I'll be fine. Tonight when I get to hit that bed and I take my allergy pill before I hit that bed, I try to get up and take Tylenol in the middle of the night or anything just to make kind of like less pain. I found the Tylenol bottle, but there wasn't no Tylenol in it. Like y'all couldn't throw that away. Of course, I'd have spent hours looking for the Tylenol if I couldn't find a bottle, so you know. Catch 22. All right, guys and dolls. Oh, I'm looking for some places to go to. You know, I've got the other channel, the Exploration Channel, this weekend. I think I found a couple places that I will be hitting sporadically um, hi, throughout uh, the weekend so that I can have a weekend video for the Explor Exploration Channel. You're filthy. And you're bourbon. <laughs> I love you. What do we tell the people to do? Hit, hit like and hit subscribe. And excuse me very much. And, uh, don't forget, guys and dolls, if uh, you're new here, I have links in the description below to help you with your keto. You can contact me if you need help with keto anytime. I don't mind helping everybody. In fact, there's a couple people I need to get back to because I forgot. I'm sorry, ladies. Tell uh, them what your password is. You don't give people your password. No, like... You mean your website. No, give them your um, phone numbers. No, so you... you you can't give your phone number out on the internet because then like random people will be calling you just for the hell of it. So you never give out your phone number or your real personal information like your address. What you give out is your email address and your website and that way people can find the information and find you uh, and contact you um, without putting yourself in danger. Learn something new every day, don't you? Anyway, um, there's ways to support the channel in the description below. Uh, you're so cute. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Check out the stuff in the description below. Much love to you guys and dolls. I'll talk to Wait, you tomorrow. Stop for a second. I gotta tell you something. Oh, boy. Shout out to Momo and me. Shout out to me and Zach Wild Wilson. <laughs> much love to you, y'all.